Holy, Holy, Holy is our Lord God Almighty. And in, his, and in this day, hallelujah, the tenth day of the seventh month, the holiest day of the year, we come before you, Holy God, to repent of our sins. And yesterday, you said unto me, it's not enough to repent. But also we must renounce these sins. You said, repent and renounce. Father, today we are obeying your commands. Yes, you said unto us, in the tenth day, to repent. You have heard our plea. You have heard our mourning. You have heard <coughs> our cry. Yes. In Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26, you said to Moses, The tenth day of this seventh month is the day of atonement. Yes, we come to receive the forgiveness of our sins. And we cannot, in this marvelous day, not to think about Jesus. And this is why, Holy Father, probably, you told us to cry because Jesus had suffered for us and it is not right. It is not righteousness for us to continue in sinning, in asking for repentance for the same thing. It's like we become like the torturer of Jesus once again. Yes, this is why you said hold the sacred assembly and we consider this assembly sacred before you. We have denied ourselves and we have presented our offering unto you. And the only offering you are pleased with is a contrite heart, a heart that is tender because of the understanding of the lesson that we have received to our trial, to our failing. And we understand what you said here in verse 29, anyone who does not deny himself on the day must be cut off. And I, as I was meditating, I said, do you know, oh God, how many Christians 
How many Christians that are out there in that marvelous day sinning before you, they have not denied their flesh. And I say a prayer on their behalf. So they may come like us to the knowledge of this truth and take advantage of this marvelous day, a day of pardon, so they may receive the pardon that you are offering this day. In verse 31 you said, this is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. That means until Jesus is back again on earth, we must continue. And I cannot stop by thinking of what you said in Jeremiah 31 verse 1, where you said that what you have in mind is for all the clans to be united together. At that time, at that time declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the clans of Israel, and they will be my people. Today we join our hearts to all the twelve tribes of Israel, and we say, O oh God, you are our God. There is no God like you. You are sovereign. And we will renounce the sins that are so easily beset us. We will cast them aside and we will not, hallelujah, turn back and serve the devil. And I remember when I was writing the book before the throne, a marvelous prayer of renunciation. Chapter 34. For those who have not this book, you can support this ministry by going on Amazon and get the ebook. It's not for a lot of money, $9.99, that will be an offering to the ministry in which you inspire me, hallelujah, to renounce sins. And a lot of people doesn't understand this book, how this book is there. This is the shaping up of the praying apostle of who I am. This is the book. Hallelujah. While I was reading it, and Jesus said to me, you are the praying apostle. I said, I never heard something like that. I'm an apostle. But he said, you are the praying apostle. And I devoted since then a life of prayer unto my God. Not only praying for the sake of praying, but a prayer that will be able to help and deliver other people. I was in my own deliverance and the Lord used me to deliver others. In chapter 34, like I said, there is a prayer of renouncing. That's mean. The things that you used to do, you said, they are now foreign to me. I will not do them again. And you were a bold, and I know God, you had your people in mind. Because you said yes. In that book, put this, put that also. I said, yeah. And I said, thank you. 
And it's so fitting as we are repenting to say to God, I'm going to do my best not to do this again. I will give you the respect due to you. Like Ephraim said, after I strayed, I repented, I beat my breast, saying, God, you can trust me now, I have get, I get it, I get it. And imagine we are in the mode of wisdom, in the mode of peace. How can we obtain wisdom if we continue to be dumb? and sinning before him, and do the things that will cause trouble in our lives. How can we receive peace when we continue to do the same things again and again? This day, for those who are listening to me, the Lord is saying, return. This is the day of repentance. This is the day of atonement. Yom Kippur is here. Like the Lord said, do not repent only, but renounce these things. And I'm going to share with you this prayer to close this message. Where under the inspiration of Jesus Christ, the sinless one, I would. And I want you at home, if you have this book, read it for yourself. And the way I wrote it, it's like you can say and repeat these things. Yes, I said, my Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me today the power to renounce. Yes, the power to renounce these things and not doing them again. And I said, I renounce the spirit of Antichrist. Yes, when you reject Jesus, you're done. You must renounce the spirit of Antichrist. And I said, I have not renounced the covenant of blood and have not defiled your name. Yes. After repentance, now you are cleansed. You said you believe in the blood. You believe in the covenant of the blood. You believe in Jesus. And I said, I renounce all sin. I have not concealed my sins, but I have confessed them. Bless me with your mercy. And I said, today I turn from idols and renounce all detestable things. Yes, you may say, I don't have an idol. Yes, you have. The things that you do before you pray. You must say that to God. And I said, I bind and renounce all spirits of pride. Yes, I was full of pride, people. At that time, I have money in the bank. I was haughty. You can smell this haughtiness from afar. I said, I bind and renounce all spirits of pride, haughtiness, disobedience, vanity, and arrogance. Yes, I was. Identify with me. Stop lying to yourself. I said, I renounce from doing what is wrong and will do what is right. The Lord want to hear that today. I renounce. All divination, witchcraft, and sorcery. I renounce all secret and shameful ways. 
I will not use deception, nor do I will distort the word of God. You have to make a decision. Amen and amen. And I said, on the contrary, I will set forth the truth plainly. Yes, I saw myself as a preacher. And I said, I will preach your word truthfully to your people. Yes, saying that your life is a gospel. Yes, you may say, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you are a preacher. No, your life is a gospel, my brothers. Your life is a gospel, my sisters. Guess what? The Lord said, I want to create a kingdom of priests. Amen, amen. And I said, dear God, I renounce all unbelief, doubt, and heresy. Guess what? A lot of people, they cannot believe in what we are preaching. They said, you think you are a Jew? No. We come to unite with our brothers, the 12 tribe of Israel, not only with the tribe of Judah, with all of them, because Abraham is our father. Because when you say you are a Christian, you are Abraham's seed. And I said, my conscience, O oh Lord, shall be clean in your sight. I will remain true to your name. And the Lord said, you are, I tested you. You have remained true to my name, despite your trial and your suffering. And I, I, at that time I said, I will never renounce my faith in you. What you can do for me? What you can do for me? Yes. You have to make a covenant. This is a time of covenant. This is the time to set the stage for your future with God. And I said, and when I was reading this this morning, I said, yes, so true. And I said, I shall be this beacon of light for others. Yes, God wants us. And Jesus said, you are the light of the world. I renounce all jealousy envy and covetousness. I renounce and cast out all spirits of resentment, bitterness, anger, and revenge. Yes. People that are against you are persecuting you. They want to deprive you and destroy you. They want to kill you. How are you going to continue and serve in God without renouncing and said, no anger here, no resentment here, no bitterness here despite what they have done unto me. This is why Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, because he was able to love despite the suffering. I renounce all immoral relationships, impurity, loss, perversion, and uncleanness. Yes, you cannot be clean if you are in uncleanness. You cannot be pure if you attract impurity. You have crazy relationships that you know that, that are immoral. I bind and renounce all spirit of addictions to drugs and alcohol. And then the Lord inspired me said, to say, I annul and renounce all ungodly oaths, covenants, vows, and marriages made by myself or my ancestors to idol, false religions, demons, and ungodly organizations. Yes, especially, you know, I'm from Haiti. You know those vows, those things that, you know, while you were a kid, your parents take you somewhere and you find out this is against God. Amen, amen. You have to renounce and annul these things. So, they are not in your life anymore. I renounce all self-rejection, self-will, and self-abasement. You know, the, the devil can have you in fear, and you cannot stand and preach the gospel for your God. Because you are saying, I'm not good enough. Oh boy, you know, I have a crooked legs here, and this and that. They, you know, they see that I'm short, that I'm not tall. No. You have to, this is the devil, 
giving you a way to reject yourself and reject the call. I'm not good enough for the call. I renounce all pride, vanity, and haughtiness. I renounce and break any covenants with false gods and demon to witchcraft. Yes, bad spirit come in during the night and tell you crazy things. You have to renounce them on the spot. I renounce and command all demons that claim any legal rights to my life to covenants to depart now. Yes, yes to say. Yeah. Depart now because I renounce you in Jesus' name. I renounce and annul all blood covenant with, with hell and death by my ancestors. Yes, you don't know where you come from. And especially they were not too educated. This, this is what they were doing. You have to take a stand. I was taking a stand. You can repeat this prayer. I renounce and rebuke all negative words ever spoken by my ancestors that would affect my life and my generation. Yes, there are certain things they pronounce. Like they said, oh, we never, we, we, we never been rich over here and we will never be rich. It's a, whoa, 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 I want to be rich. You have to make sure you say no to these things because you don't, you don't know what they were saying. They were saying amen to I renounce and cast out any family ties with demon in my bloodline. Yes, you have to say that. Otherwise, they will stay there and then you see, I'm seeing you. I don't know when I do that. <laughs> I renounce all hereditary sicknesses and diseases. You have to renounce. I embrace the covenant of the blood of Jesus. And therefore, renounce all prior ungodly covenants, oaths, and vows. I am free from all ungodly covenants. My brothers, my sisters, read this prayer for yourself. Chapter 34, before the throne. And the Lord will deliver you as you pray this prayer. Think about your deliverance. Claim your deliverance. This is the holiest day of the year, 5778. The Lord seated on his throne and saying unto you, Welcome, my son, welcome, my daughter, and receive the forgiveness of your sin. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.